This is my clan. They are stranded. <laughs> Mama, what's wrong with the worker? I don't know. We don't know. Guys, I don't know what's wrong with the car. We were so ready to travel. We got up so early. Mr. Sean, you are the man. Check the car. <laughs> oh, so guys, I think I've called somebody to come and check on it. Let's just wait. Good morning, guys. Uh, I hope you guys are well. Uh, it's six or nine. Yeah, it's six or nine, and we are just. The getting... car has been fixed. Oh, the car has been fixed, and we have just uh, begun our journey. So, guys, come with us. Haley is here. Haley, say hi. Hi. Guys, Haley was very disappointed. <laughs> hey. What did she say? She said, she, she said emotional, emotional damage. damage. <laughs> but guys, we uh, we are fine. Now we are moving. Come with us. So guys, let me take this opportunity to say hi to you. This was the morning that was supposed to travel. I woke up in the morning and there was something on my dashboard that I was not understanding. So I wasn't so comfortable driving the car that way. That's why I had to call in someone. So let's see how it went along the way. So guys, we didn't record much along the way. In fact, uh, I'll, at some point, I'll tell you how we encounter we how God saved us from a very ugly accident. But yeah, we got home well. You see, it's the season is the maize season or corn. So we're enjoying the sugar cane. Uh, who was that? Determined Diva was telling me she did not know how sugar cane is uh, consumed or taken or eaten. There it is, Determined Diva. So let's have fun in the village. So guys, on, this was uh, no, on Thursday, Thursday morning. We woke up early. Okay, you know, in the village somewhere, even if you want to sleep. Normally in town, I'll sleep till, till around 10 a.m. whenever I'm not going anywhere. But in the village, somehow, when it reaches 6 a.m. or 7, like, you just can't sleep. Like, everybody's awake. They're doing things. So, it's kind of busy. You just can't sleep. So, you find, like, the sleep just goes away on its own and you wake up. So, guys, everybody's busy, as you can see. We are trying to renovate my mother's house. There's a, a live I did sometime back in the village. And I was telling you guys, uh, we are working on re renovating my mother's house. So it is ongoing. So guys, this is my dad. Can you imagine? He wants to make mandazis for us. So, uh, yeah, he cooks for us at times. So he was getting ready to prepare mandazis for breakfast. So for me, this is what I started with. Uh, the shoes were so dusty. I said, let me start by cleaning them before I get a hold of um, other chores. So we cleaned the shoes. Nothing much here, just cleaning the shoes. So guys, as you can see, there was quite a lot to do on this day. So let me just give you a chance to see how it went down. Was it the voice? Was it the fire burning in me? All of the noise turned into choirs of harmony. Left me with the pieces of forever that you broke. But since you left me alone, I've been high. So guys, here is my dad with his grandchildren ready to prepare for us breakfast. Actually, it's ongoing. They're making mandazis. See, see the bond between grandpa and grandchildren. Actually, love this. So 
Sean is actually, you can see Sean here, Sean is the first grandchild. Then after Sean, you can see the one in blue, that is my cousin. So you skip, then you come to this one in pink. This is my sister's daughter, so she's the second grandchild, followed by Hayley. Then there are others now, All right? All of the noise turned into choirs of harmony. Left me with the pieces of forever that you broke. But since you left me alone, I've been high. enjoying yeah. these two lovelies are called lovely <laughs> lovely eh lovely eh raise your hand no big lovely lovely big and lovely small lovely small raise your hand say hi mama come and say hi hi guys how come mama? where are we we are in shago in shago but yesterday there was an accident. <laughs> Guys, I'll tell you about that. <laughs> Sean, say hi. Yeah. So, let me sit and also have my share of breakfast. So, I was having breakfast with my sister Femi from here. Uh, guys, we were supposed to go to Kakamega to do wholesale shopping because we were expecting uh, some visitors on Saturday. So here, uh, this is me, my aunt, my mom, and my dad over here. And of course, I have my tools right there. And a chai, thermos, a chai. You can see a flask over there. Tea runs in the blood. So we were just having a chat down here. And uh, we were, these are groundnuts, actually. These are groundnuts. They didn't know I was recording them. In fact, at some point, they knew and they were like, you. <laughs> but it was fun. So from here. We headed straight to Kakmega with my baby sister. What's up, guys? I'm telling you, it is super hot. Like, really, really hot. I'm sweating. Somehow it's not like raining and raining. Somehow it's not raining in the village. I expect it to be so cold, but it's not raining. I'm going to Kakamega. I'm not sure if I'll be able to shoot Fungwa boot. I'm not sure if I'll be able to shoot anything while there. But I'll see what I'll be able to shoot. But eh, fungu. Mm -hmm. Ah, Fungwa. Yeah, so let's go to Kakamega. See who's here. Hey guys, I'm see how she's sweating. sweating. <laughs> it's very hot. Okay, guys. Let's go to catch. We call it catch. Guys, these are tractors that are used to ferry sugar cane from the farm to the factory. And uh, this is western, so you're bound to meet them all along the road. This is Mumias Kakamega Road. And by now we are already in the outskirts of Kakamega Town. So we didn't get to shoot much because it was heavily raining. By the way, uh, I think the rains were waiting for us to go home. It started raining somehow. So, on this very day. So, yeah, we are already in Kakamega town. It's a very beautiful town. The former governor did a very, very good job with this town. It is so beautiful compared to how I've known it all along when I was growing up. So, looking at it right now, it's a very beautiful town, guys. Was it the voice? Was it the fire burning in me? All of the noise 
voice turned into choirs of harmony. Left me with the pieces of forever that you broke. But since you left me alone, I've been high. why we came to Kakamega was specifically to shop to shop things in wholesale because as I had mentioned we are expecting visitors we were expecting visitors on Thursday so this is the wholesale shop that we bought our goodies from so we bought some things uh, from here then from from this shop we went to Katia's supermarket and then we went to have something to eat and then we left for home. Guys, now, I left to uh, home. I left the village at the age of, how old was I? I can't remember, but I was in Standard 5 then. And I went, I left, I went to live with my auntie in Mombasa. And I, I started, uh, that was Standard 5, yes. Up to the time I cleared high school. That is when I went back home. I had never traveled between uh, the time I went to Mombasa. I never traveled back home. But guys, uh, I've never forgotten my mother tongue. I know I can fluently speak my mother tongue. I love my traditional food. I've never, never like uh, at any point changed, switched or said, oh, I no longer eat, blah, blah, blah. No, I eat everything. That's uh, beside the point. Guys. During all this time, I never traveled. So what I'm trying to say is I do not know my home county very well. In fact, the guy you see here in a white shirt, that is my sister's friend who lives in Kakamega. So we had to get him to come and take us around where to buy some of these things, where to go eat. We, The two of us don't know anywhere. Like we don't know, guys. Nasima Ringo Aki for real. Sisi, by the time I came back, home it was after high school and i was coming just briefly and then i went back to nairobi and now life started you know and all that so all this time and even so whenever i travel i don't use kakamega route i normally use maseno so if you know western you know the difference so i do not know kakamega guys and not just kakamega i do not even know mumia's town as a whole in fact i was telling my sister next time i'm going home we are going to do operation no my county we have to walk and go everywhere so that we won't be asking people to take us around. Okay, guys? So you understand why I had to find somebody to take us around. So from here, we are going to Katia's supermarket and then we'll go find something to eat and then we head home. Fires of harmony Left me with the pieces of forever that you broke since been high. at this time guys we were feeling so hungry so we didn't want to waste much time here after all we had bought most of the things so a few things that we could not get uh from the wholesale because wholesale they're selling things in bulk so those ones that we only needed maybe a piece and we could not get from there we, we came and picked here and uh that's what i'm saying we didn't take long because you are not uh, buying much you are not buying much so from here guys we headed straight to i didn't know guys that there, there, there was such a nice place in kakamega um what a place for eating Nyam chum, guys Let's go, let's go. Let's just finish here the supermarket. I take you there, you see how it is.
So guys, this is the place. I actually loved it. They have a very nice swimming pool. The very good and courteous stuff. Everything was just cool. Guys, I think I was so hungry that by the time the food was brought, I did not record anything. In fact, we were laughing with my sister because we remembered after we've had food and we're all full. So we just went home. I can briefly show you the whole what I shopped for. And then we call it a day. I'm on I'm Nagani. So this is minced meat for making samosas. We're supposed to make samosas the following day. So we bought minced meat. Then there is a, a box of milk. Yeah, my mom's cow is almost due, so she's not milking it anymore. It should be due by January. Yeah, so that is the box of milk. Uh, Royco. Uh, hmm. What else? What else is there? Tomato sauce, my babies love tomato sauce. They love, they eat it with chapati, they use tomato sauce. That is hand wash. Uh, that is tomato paste. Arimi is my favorite. Oh gosh, it's my favorite, guys. Tag them, tell them I, they have a very big fan here. That is soy sauce. Uh, Colgate and tooth, toothbrush. I had forgotten my toothbrush, guys. BB, uh, salt, uh, what is that, tea leaves, I love Melvin's tea leaves, Tangawizi, I actually don't think I've ever tried any other, yes, you've seen the matchbox, that is Mala, um, never mind my camera person was not so accurate, Pilau Masala, Mm -hmm. my camera person was lazing around indomie Haley's favorite indomie uh, yeah we got several packets and then serviettes and then um tissue what else what else um hmm what is that spirit? My babies, imagine every time they go, they're at home. They climb trees. They do so many things. So I decided, let me just buy spirit just in case. That is a roll-on. Uh, what is that? Oh, face for my face. Ghana, the one I use on my face. That is, I took that because of the bucket. It had a free bucket. So I took it because of the free bucket. Actually, I've never used it before. Guys, I bought these chemicals, four of them, because in Nairobi, I have been unable to find. In fact, I think I found this in Momias because it's the old stock. So I took four of them. And Haley forgot her hair oil. So that one. And Mama, yeah, Mama asked me to get this for my baby nephew. So I got them for baby nephew. He's called Liam. So that is for Liam. Never mind. I was trying to to impress the kids who are there. Yes. <laughs> I was trying to impress the kids who are there. In fact, they're the ones who are filming, uh, who are helping me film. That's a box of uh, bar soaps. Yeah, a whole box. So that one was meant to serve. You know, when they're home, they're washing a lot. So that one will serve them. So guys, this is it. Uh, till we meet again on the next one. Doo -doo.